Animal shelters across the country face the rare issue of being unable to supply the demand of household pets as adoption rates reached an all-time high during last year's shutdown. Now that most people are returning to work or school, there are more animals being abandoned or turned over to shelters, as people have less time to care for their pets. People started going back to work. They weren't working from home as much anymore. Um, they wanted to go on vacations. They wanted to, you know, start families or, you know, various reasons. Animal control and animal shelters alike now face familiar issues. There are limited resources available to care for all the animals that are brought in. The lack of space is a big issue. No-kill shelters are not allowed to euthanize strays when they reach capacity, which means the shelters are forced to send the animals elsewhere. We work with the with the shelters nearby um, as far as you know referring animals to them or having them refer animals to us sometimes um, and they're pretty overwhelmed. To combat space management issues many shelters ask that before deciding to surrender a pet to reach out first to friends and family who may be able to take the animal. Social media sites like Nextdoor or Facebook are suggested resources to seek new homes. Alternatively, Rehome is a free service that can be used to make a profile for the pet that others on the service can send adoption applications to. For Bobcat Update, I'm Ethan Brown. The population of Texas State has increased dramatically over the years, and as a result, parking has been increasingly difficult to find. Having limited spaces available sets up an exercise in futility. Students drive around campus in vain hope of finding a spot or having to choose an alternative way to make it to campus. The parking um, on campus really is uh, difficult just because all the parking spaces at LBJ Parking Garage or other paid parking garages that Texas State offers, is, are, they are very tiny and very limited to the amount of parking spaces that they do offer. Many students have to park far off campus and then take the bus or walk to get to their classes. Students soon realize that paying for a parking permit doesn't guarantee a spot. For Bobcat Update, I'm Joshua Bankus. Cold and flu season is back in full swing. Symptoms seem more severe this time around because most people made an effort during the past several months to curb the spread of coronavirus, and by doing so, they also protected themselves from other illnesses. We're testing every single person that comes in with symptoms of cough, congestion, chest pain, things like that. Most of these also can be easily confused with allergy symptoms, especially those who suffer more serious allergies. We absolutely have been testing many more people. During the upcoming holidays, many people will be reuniting with family to celebrate events. This could lead to another wave of COVID cases as people travel and let their guard down. The ties that bind us keep us together, close together, and unfortunately parents and kids and everybody all touch everything. And so we might be seeing another big wave right after this season. Health officials suggest that masks continue to be worn regularly to help prevent not only COVID, but also the flu illnesses. For Bobcat Update, I'm Ethan Brown.